Greetings from Omnivore Blade Works. This is Jared talking, and you're looking at a sawback Kodiak sword for a couple of special customers who asked for these. I'm just finishing with the. Uh, well, I just finished grinding all these teeth. Um, the teeth are all CNC water jet cut, and the profile. That profile is pretty much cut except for the tops of these uh, are not quite the same. I had to do a little grinding to get the, the rake. So the first thing I did was to use my little Dremel with the carbide router and um, I routed the inside of these areas on one side I'm skipping each tooth here, here, here all the way to the end on both sides alternate or alternatively and then I heated these teeth up and I set them all you should be able to see how they are there's they actually have a set and they're all turn alternating on one side of the next here you go now you can see it so I used a hammer and a punch brass punch to set the teeth then I came back and I cut these top bevels. Okay, now you can focus. So I cut the top bevels and with the KMG grinder, which I adapted by taking my Dynafile belt, uh, platen, a little hard graphite faced uh, with cork backing platen. That's just stick on material and then I cut my Norax belt in half and then I cut it in half again using my belt splitter from uh, USA Knife Maker so this is a two inch to one inch belt splitter and then I clamped on another piece of platen uh, material half inch material and now I've got a, a uh, cutter that can, I can make half inch belts with pretty well. It's not perfect but it did the job on this one. Anyway, um, so then I finished those uh, these faces on the saw teeth with that Norax belt and then um, I did a little bit of shoe polishing on the surfaces here and with the, these little strings strings of belt to make them a little bit smoother on the on the uh, edge that's not doing the cutting and then I use my Dynafile with little eighth inch or quarter inch wide belt on a and I just cut my, my other material. I've got a two in one here. I've got a quarter inch wide platen and a half inch wide platen on the same uh, arm so with that, I used that to uh, to cut these shiny parts to give myself some relief on the tooth, so you can see how that worked. Now this is a saw that's supposed to just do some notching. Um, it's not really intended to um, to cut down trees, but because it does have a set tooth, I'm pretty sure that. Once we get these heat treated and we try them out for real, they will cut pretty darn well. So uh, you can see the size of this sword is pretty big. So you have a good eight inch, almost eight inches of saw blade. And um, we'll do a demo of this when it's heat treated. But just wanted to show you the techniques that I use to make these saw teeth. And uh, even though it took me two days to do four of these saws, you know, sort of figuring out what to do and dabbling. Um, now I know how to do it and it won't go quite so slow next time. Hope you enjoyed this open source manufacturing video and um, we'll see you soon.